Today I was sent a ton of awesome blister packs. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. In today's video, we're gonna be opening up a ton of blister packs that were sent to me by Omar. He also sent us a note. He says, hey Roxon, thanks for opening these for me. I've had them for a while and finally decided to open them. Last time you opened packs for me, you pulled Ulti Stardust, a collector rare, and more epic cards. Hopefully you can do the same this time, LOL. Keep up the great work, love all your vids. Soon you'll be at 200K, thanks Omar. Thank you so much, Omar. Hopefully we'll be at 200K somewhat soon. I don't know, it's gonna be a while for that, but hopefully we can pull this well like again because last time was insane but these are gonna be some really good packs potentially i'm gonna show you guys in a second but he also sent us a giveaway let's see what is inside the giveaway envelope here we have ooh, a little prismatic secret rare dark magician a green blue eyes white dragon and then a harpy's pet dragon Ooh, and a blue eyes jet dragon very nice so some pretty nice cards here i'm gonna take this out so i can put these together more easily but very nice very nice card so all you have to do to enter that is like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know your favorite blister pack or card that we pull in this video hopefully some really awesome pulls are to come we have legend of blue eyes we have first edition tune chaos and many more so i think we're gonna start with a first edition tune chaos because we have a few of these i'm pretty excited to open this because we haven't opened first edition tune chaos in quite a bit besides of course the every pack opening which if you have not seen already we opened every single pack in first edition go check that video out it's like two and a half hours long so if you watch the whole thing really helps the channel so i appreciate if you guys do that first edition tune chaos let's see what we can pull for omar hopefully something amazing i love opening blister packs because of the complete randomness of what you pull so i don't know how the pack trick works on this so we're just gonna flip it on over curse of dragon fire we've got the gear breed inside we can pull some big stuff like the Stardust Dragon Collector Rare, the Black Cluster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning, the Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End, the Chaos is what I just said, Keeper of Dragon Magic, Sublimation Knight is what's right in the middle like a normal pack, okay. So unfortunately nothing in that one. Okay, we have a bunch of Legend of Blue Eyes. I think we're gonna kind of save those toward the end, but we do have Brothers of Legend First Editions. So let's see if we can open up the, uh, I was about to say the 10K Dragon, but I mean to say the Dragoon. 10K Dragon was a couple years before that, 2020. So let's pull something amazing. I don't remember where they put the secret. It could be at the front, it's only five cards, right? Let's do this. All right, we have the uh, Dollhouse. Appliancer Propleon, Propelion, I think. Curry Babylon, very nice. And there's the wing recruital. So it was at the back. Secret rare. Wow, that is beautiful. Check that secret rare out. It kind of reminds me of those uh, those ones from the other day. The uh, speed duel. Pretty nice. Oh, yeah, we got a good one. Legendary duelist duels from the deep. I'm kidding. It's not good. This is not a good set. But there is a ghost share potential. Also forbidden droplet potential. So there is stuff we can pull out of here that will be pretty nice. So let's see if we can do it. We have two packs because out of the blisters of these legendary duelists, they give you two, which is pretty cool. Will it be a ghost share? We have the Marincess Seahorse. Nice. Rank up magic, the seventh one. Double fin shark. I think that you get a super sometimes too. No frostosaurus, so we did none of that. And then citadel whale, a classic Mako card. Actually, wait, citadel whale. Actually, he's fortress whale. Yeah, so he's probably not citadel whale. That's probably somebody else. But I haven't seen all the animes after the original and some of GX and 5Ds. Um, and I haven't th seen anything after that. We got the dark reef. Legendary Fisherman. Notice how the rare was in a different spot. So does that mean we got something? We got a rare in the second slot instead of the third slot, which is pretty weird. Legendary Fisherman three. And the electric jellyfish. So we did get something. So I guess if it's in the second slot, you get a foil. Electric jellyfish, our first non-guaranteed foil. We will take it. All right, time to throw in a legend of blue eyes white dragon. Let's see if we can pull something big like the blue eyes itself. I am down for it. Let's go. A little bit of a ding right there on that back card. We can do the pack trick here like this. We have the flame manipulator, the Yame, Mazurizame. We got Dark World Thorns. The Enchanting Mermaid, a beautiful mermaid that lures voyagers to a watery grave. Watery grave, all right, a little scary. Umi, that could be the watery grave. Right under there could be the Enchanting Mermaid. Keep that in mind. Yurabi, oh yeah, nice. Forest. Flame Ghost, and here we go. Here's our potential at a foil. Let's see what we can get. M Warrior Numero Dos. So that is not a foil, um, unfortunately. Not very strong either. 500 attack. Wimp. Next up, we have Storm of Ragnarok. We have never pulled the Odin, guys. We have never pulled it. This is first edition, too. So there could be some really nice stuff inside this blister. Let's see if we can get a Ghost or Odin or a Maxi. That would also be really nice. Secret Rare. So there's a couple of good options. Let's go. I assume you can do like a three from the back. These are always really warped in the middle, even if there's not a foil. So that like doesn't actually mean there's a foil there if you guys saw that on the side zings a new replica but it could barrier resonator the tiki curse that is a classic one of my first Yu-Gi-Oh videos actually first videos on the channel was me using these kind of like 
trap monsters in a Duel Links deck. Nordic Relic, I think it was my second video. It's probably unlisted now, so you can't see it anymore. Solemn Authority, got a damn around. Blackwing Bristo, the Tailwind. Doppel Warrior and Nordic Relic drop near. All right, just a regular common, not even a rare. Well, we got a rare, but no foil. Okay, let's revisit Toon Chaos first edition. Let's see if we can pull something big. These are very epic packs. These were so popular when they first came out. If you guys remember, it was insane. Like finding these in a Walmart was like gold. If you found these, it was nuts because like even the boxes went crazy expensive right off the bat. So I think it was the fourth card last time. Let's do this. Yeah, there's seven card packs. It's really weird. Code Generator. We got the Mastero Vapor. Actually, it was like $4 before this reprint. Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy at the end. Let's get the Collector Rare version. Cyframe Gear Gamma. That's probably worth something. The uh, Gemini Ablation and Mastero Dian and the Magician of Hope. Super rare. That is guaranteed. You will get a super every pack in there. Unless, of course, you get an Ultra Collector Rare in the slot, but not this time. Battles of Chaos first edition. In here, there's some pretty cool collector rares. I mean, uh, secret rares. Secret rares are right, but I mean, Starlight rares is what I'm trying to say. There's uh, the Jet Dragon, there's the Dark Magicians, there's the Illusion of Chaos. Some really good stuff in here. Let's pull something good. I don't know what the trick is. Let's do three. We have a Smoke Mosquito, the Mad Hacker. Let's get Omar something good. Doll Monster Miss Machin. Tribe Drive. Epsilon the Magnet Warrior. And Dynamorphia Brute. The Silver Vine Sinry. Ultimate Fusion. There's the Blue Eyes White Dragon Fusion, which is pretty cool. The Ultimate Fusions, quick play. And then Ogdoidic Serpent Strike. So a very cool card, but, you know, not too valuable, I don't think, right now. Back with Storm of Ragnarok. Let's get a Max C. Let's get an Odin. Let's get something really cool in here because there's some very nice potential. I think we can do something good here. We have Worm Illidan. Token Stampede. The Scrap Shark. Token Sunday. Watmull. Vylon Matter, Sheehan Squire, Symphonic Warrior Piano, and the Six Strike Triple Impact. Okay, so we are kind of not doing so hot right now. What have we actually pulled? An Electric Jellyfish is our only foil pull so far in terms of not guaranteed. So let's go to LOB. Let's see if we can turn our luck around and pull something good for Omar. We have a Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Can we get Pot of Green and Blue Eyes in the same pack? Let's do it. Beaver Warrior, Silver Fang, Sogan. Steel Ogre Grotto Numero Uno, Skull Servant, Mountain, Skull Red Bird, Giant Soldier of Stone, a giant warrior made of stone, a punch from this creature has earth shattering results, and the Masaki, the legendary swordsman. All right, he's legendary, but he's not a foil, so he wasn't legendary enough for them to upgrade him, but still pretty cool. What else do we have here? Let's go for Wing Raiders next. I think I might need scissors to open this one. All right, not really sure why they went with the plastic blister for Wing Raiders, but they did for some reason. It was like one of the only sets that I remember seeing that with. Uh, I have no idea how this pack trick works. There's also a damaged card. Let's just turn it over. We have Phantom Knight's Wing, the Phantom Knight's of Ragged Gloves, Needlebug Nest, Crane Crane, Reinforcement of the Army, Raid Raptor Sharp Lane. Yes, I love this card. Very clutch against Farfa in the Auction Series remake. A Raid Raptor Last Tricks. Gaga Gaga Cat. Ga, ga. Wait, is that it? Is that the rare? Oh, that's the foil, and it's all dinged up back there. Fog Blade, too. That's a good one. Okay, it's a good ultra, but it has a ding in it, unfortunately. But still, a nice pull for sure. Definitely worth like probably three or four bucks, which is not bad. Super solid pull. Let's go back to Storm of Ragnarok. Let's see if we can get something big, though. Like so far, pretty average pulls, you know, pretty meager. Not nothing too insane. Let's change that. Let's pull something really good out of Storm of Ragnarok. Let's go. One, two, three. What I was doing, three, I think. Divine Relic Mjolnir, the Shanae, Cyber Shield, Watki, Mimir of the Nordic Ascendant, Nordic Relic Lavatien. Oh. Ah! Oh! Odin, father of the Acer Ghost Ray! You can't make this up, dude! Oh my goodness! The Ghost Rare Odin! Omar, I don't know what it is with your packs and me opening them, but we got the magic touch with that little combo. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's like a polymerization. If you polymerization his packs and me opening them, you get great pulls. That's how it goes. Oh my gosh, I've never pulled this card. I've said it so many times, and now I have. I've pulled it. Om Omar, I was saying Omar and Odin together. Omar, we pulled you the Odin. This looks insane. First edition, looks pretty nice too. Wow, talk about an epic pull, dude. Woo, okay. 
Hey, no, we're not saying anything bad about the polls now. We're not saying anything bad about the polls now. They're looking pretty nice. Okay, that was insane. Blue Eyes White Dragon, let's go. Now, if we pull anything out of Legend of Blue Eyes now, like, it just becomes insane like this becomes one of the best openings because we already have a ghost rare now if we pull like a blue eyes like oh my goodness what in the world dude insane we have a vile germs this is awesome petite angel succubus knight kura oh, wait this is this is the card that proves my tiktok is right a warrior wizard that's a wizard and it's also a woman so women can be wizards keep that in mind karama we got the lesser dragon petite dragon silver blow <laughs> Silver bow and angel. Where? What am I talking about? Where is the angel coming from? Silver bow and arrow. All right. I, the ghost rares really got it to me, guys. Pot of greed. What does it do? I couldn't tell you. And the terror of the terrible. Okay. Pot of greed's a sick pull. I was definitely confused on that pack, but ghost rares. I mean, what more do I have to say? Amazing. Toon Chaos time. First edition. Let's go. We have pulled many good cards out here. We've not pulled all the collector rares because back then I didn't open that many cases. I think I opened like two cases of this, two and a half, something like that, which is pretty good, but you know, not as much as we open now. We have a Toon World. Nice. Why did this not get a collector rare? Don't know. Uh, Chaos Ember Dragon Envoy of the End, the Dwarf Star Dragon Planeter, the Blacklister Soldier Envoy of the Evening Twilight, Mass Hero Blast, Chaos Sorcerer. That would also have been a great collector rare. And eternal chaos just a super rare all right just a super eternal chaos still six packs to go here okay i guess we're gonna go back to storm of ragnarok because i mean <laughs> it's storm of ragnarok so yeah um, we've already kind of pulled the big card uh maxi though anybody that would be insane the best storm of ragnarok packs ever let's go okay so last time it was like there was two cards left when we did this so this is the foil let's go like this like that there we go we get the shanai cyber shield cosmic compass Watmel, Vylon Matter, She and Squire, Nordic Relic Lavatien, the Majolnir, Nordic Relic Gungnir, and Forbidden Lance, another nice super rare. All right, these store packs are actually pretty good. We will take that, Forbidden Lance. Five packs to go in this insane blister pack opening. We only had like 19 total packs, and we pulled a ghost rare, which is insanity. We will take that. Every single time we open 19 packs, please. Legend of Blue Eyes. So far, nothing out of Legend of Blue Eyes, though. Not looking too great there. Is this it? Wait, is that it? Is it? F Wait, did I mess that up? I don't know. So good. We'll find out. Still a Grigrado. Legendary Sword. M Warrior number one. Tyone. Skull Servant. Mountain. Two pronged attack. I didn't mess it up. And. Swords of Revealing Light. Very nice, super rare. We will take that. Another nice spell card to be added to the uh, the awesome pulls we've had so far. All right, two packs to go. Let's go with the last Toon Chaos pack. I haven't pulled anything good out of Toon Chaos since it came out, it feels like. <laughs> see, every time I open it, it's just like a super rare. So let's see if we can change that right now. Pull something big like a collector rare. Even an ultra rare would be awesome. Let's see. We have the Toon World. Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End. A Dwarf Star Planeter. The Cyframe Gear Gamma, another good card. The Gemini Ablation, Master Odian, and a Stardust Collector Rare! Oh my gosh, dude! Holy crap, this is insane! I was like, wait, this is a rare. It has to be a rare. It has to be a rare. It's not a rare. Oh my, somehow we topped the Ghost Rare. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We topped the ghost rare somehow. Omar, your packs, me opening them. Dude, what in the world? We pulled you an ulti Stardust and a collector rare first edition Stardust. This isn't no unlimited. Neither is this. These aren't unlimited. These are first edition. Oh my goodness, dude. Your total like value now is like probably like 200, 300, 400 dollars. I don't even know. Like, wow, 19 packs. Literally all we have to do now is open something out of LOB. And this is like honestly could be one of my best openings. Like pulls per pack. Like you based on the number of packs on like what we actually pulled. Could be one of my best openings ever if we pull like an lob pack or an lob like blue eyes or something when we have a pack but you know what i mean silver fang this is insane vile germs petite angel succubus knight oh gosh this is crazy monster egg lesser dragon come on blue eyes hear our cry we summon you into this pack lesser dragon petite dragon dragon is the wicked knight and the silver bow and arrow. It's okay, we have one more pack. It's gonna be last pack magic. It was second to last pack for Storm of Ragnarok. Last pack of Toon Chaos. Now we have one more blue eyes. We also have a spell ruler pack. So wait, oh, no, there's two packs in here. Oh man, there's still, 
two more packs. This this video just keeps giving, man. This is insane. What is this? What is this card? Be something good. I was expecting it to be something crazy. All right, it's a nice super rare Mizuho. We have, oh, IOC as well. I mean, if we get something out of there, that's crazy. Let's go Spell Ruler. Three packs to go in this video. It doesn't matter if we strike out on these because we've already pulled insane. So let's see if we can just continue that. Boar Soldier, Ancient One of the Deep Forest, Penguin Knight, Twin Long Rods number two. We got the Gravekeeper Servant, terrible card. Uh, by terrible, I mean awful just to play against. Umiruka, Ryu Ram, Sinjo with a thousand hands, and a spellbinding circle. Ultra rare. Why not? Just put the cherry on top. Why not have one of the best openings we've ever had? Ultra rare. Spellbinding circle. That's really nice. Two packs to go. I don't even know what to do at this point. I'm like, I've, I'm losing it. This is insane. These pulls are crazy. Invasion of Chaos, like if you have a CED, BLS, or DMOC in here, or Dimension Fusion, I mean any of those, we go crazy. Feather Duster, Granadora, Neobug, Salvage, the Heart of the Underdog, Be Gone, Knave, Thing in the Crater, Curse of Darkness, and what will the final card be of Invasion of Chaos? Gigantis, actually a pretty good card, but uh, okay, no big deal. I wish that was a Berserk Gorilla so I could get that because I need one more for my GOAT format deck. We're in the final pack. Whew, this is insane. By the way, if any of you guys are going to be at YCS Minnesota, I will be there. So if you guys are going to be there, make sure you guys come up, say hi. If you guys want me to sign stuff, I can do stuff like that. So uh, just a quick announcement. If you didn't know, I am going to be there. Probably going to be at Pasadena as well. So hopefully you're going to see a lot of you guys at that one specifically. I know Pasadena is going to be nuts. So Blue Eyes White Dragon, let's go. Final pack of one of the craziest videos we've had in a while. Okay, I said 19 packs, it was 19 blisters, so I think there was technically like a couple two packs, so like 21 packs, but still. All right, remove trap, let's go. Dissolve rock, if there's any ultras in here, we're losing it, dark energy. Fiend reflection, numero dos. Mountain. Skull red bird. Masaki legendary swordsman. Metal dragon, and the final card of this insane opening, let's go. Man eater. All right, so it's just a man eater. Uh, that's okay. We really did. I did not need to pass out after this video from yelling too much because that was nuts. But Omar, huge congrats on those pulls, man. You're probably gonna get them back before I even post the video. But hopefully, you know, you don't look because I don't want you to spoil this video for yourself. If you guys enjoyed that one, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Hopefully, more and more epic. Like if you top this and make it more epic, then it's gonna be insane. Shout out to Choice Three Three Three, Nightshade Gaming YT, Hayden Jameson, Squirtle, Hoppus, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Ernesto, Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trusted Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tone Fo Show, and then a tie show: Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.